So could the coronavirus have been out there even a week before we knew it had arrived? The focus is now on how the virus spread in Snohomish County, for example, which saw its first case about January 21st. King 5's Glenn Farley has been looking at the scientific research, much of it done actually right here. And what have you learned about this, Glenn? Well, absolutely. So a scientist from Fred Hutch, who looks at the math behind disease outbreaks, says the first jump of a virus from an animal to a human happened between mid-November to mid-December in China. And since then, it keeps mutating a little, enough to allow different strains to be tracked, all the while knowing where they all originated. The first case of coronavirus was discovered in Snohomish County, and a man who had returned from Wuhan, China. Think of him as Wa Wan. And it would be weeks before the discovery of the second case in a person who had not traveled. Think of that person as Wa Two. Are they connected? On Twitter, Dr. Trevor Bedford said, this case, Wa Tu, the second victim, is on a branch in the evolutionary tree that descends directly from Wa One, the first victim. It means the virus could have been out there, particularly, he says, in Snohomish County for weeks before being discovered. How do they know that? And so something that, um, that I've been working on then is using genetic sequencing, I and others in the field, to reconstruct pathogen spread. This is Trevor Bedford presenting earlier stages of coronavirus research at a press conference at the American Association for the Advancement of Science in mid-February here in Seattle. The presentation, that of a global collaboration captured in these animations by NextStrain and GIS AID, and you can see the spread of the disease to the U.S. and even around the world. And then we start to see exports from Wuhan to kind of far-flung places in the world, which are all these different colors. And we can kind of chart this out on a map then, because we know this genome is connected to this genome by these mutations, and we can learn about these kind of transmission links. In his analysis, Bedford tweets that there could be several hundred cases in Washington. Needless to say, work continues. We were hoping to interview him or others on that project, but we were unsoccessful and say they're too busy, so hopefully at some Soon, point hopefully. going forward, yeah. So, Glenn, was this somehow missed by authorities, or what's the explanation? Well, that's what he basically says. So the first victim may have had no symptoms or mild symptoms that sort of remember they were trying to screen people coming into the country, right. coming back into the country. And he thinks that's when, obviously, he came, he presented, uh, and he had the disease, and so, so it went there. He was at Providence. We will have actually more about how the state is going to use some of this information tonight at 7. And then the research is fascinating. How soon did they start researching coronavirus right here? Well, they've been researching it all along. I mean, he talks in his, in his AAAS meeting about looking at other diseases, you know, Ebola's and, and things like that. Um, so before. right from the so first he does, case in so, China? So it's when it first started showing up, and he's written blogs and everything else, I mean, it's fascinating stuff. So he was looking at this all along, and they get data out of China, and mm -hmm. they've been able to build on that data. But like I said, this whole, these organizations that put together those maps appear to be a global uh, organization. So they are people from all over these countries, all over the U.S., different universities, almost different networking, medical almost. networking. And, and so you're, you've got sort of a group think going on and you click on one of these leads in there and it will say, for example, I clicked on one for a victim in Wisconsin, Illinois, mm -hmm. Texas, mm -hmm. California, mm -hmm. all these other mm -hmm. states who are starting to see this stuff pop up. And we're hearing it could be until next year before a vaccine is available? That's what we keep hearing, yeah. but I think there's a lot more to come on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.